If you're new here, I'm Ryan, a Christ following wife and a homeschool mom to three boys. Here we talk all things homeschool and we will learn together how to use our roles as wife, mom, teacher, and homemaker in order to glorify God. Did you get a Nana? Is that good stuff? Don't choke. Good morning guys. So today I thought I'd bring you along. I have had several requests of what Abel's preschool looks like. So people have asked, you know, what does um, sunlight look like actually in action? They want to kind of do a lesson with me. And then I've had people ask, you know, what are the big boys doing while you're doing school with Abel? Um, and so I'm just gonna combine those two things and do kind of a mini day in the life, but we're gonna be focusing on Abel and his preschool, but then I'll kind of show what everyone else is doing while we're doing preschool. So right now it's nine o'clock. I've gotten ready for the day, done my prayer time and all of that. Um, and he is eating breakfast right now and I'm getting ready to go get up the baby, even though I feel like he should not be up yet. He was up all night long. So that's why I look like this. <laughs> But Abel's eating his breakfast right now. He's already been very busy today. He's not been up for very long, but he's he's been busy. So Abel asked to do one of his brother's chores today, so he's feeding the dog. Just put one more cup in there. A little bit more. There you go. Good job. Now take it out to him. All right, it's now 9.20 and we still have not started school because we've already had a giant water spill in the kitchen that we've had to attend to and a fussy baby, say good morning, say good morning, that we've had to um, deal with. So maybe now we're starting school, knock on wood. Okay, we are getting ready to finally start preschool. Um, I, of course, am nursing a baby at the same time because if you have littles, this is just how life is. So I'm gonna show you real quick what the inside of his sunlight looks like um, while he's still eating breakfast. <laughs> he's had to bring it downstairs with us. And pardon the lighting, we did have to bring out the ring light because our basement, especially since it's really cloudy today, is a little bit dark. So I'm gonna flip this around and let you see the inside. Okay, so today we are on week 17 and we're on this second day of the week. So it's day 50, I guess. And so you'll see every day starts with a Bible story. And so that comes from our Bible story book, which you will see here in a second. And then we have a sound of the week. So that's our letter. And I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Then we have, sorry for the crunching. <laughs> then we have our shapes, our numbers. And then we have whatever our read alouds are. So this week it is Animal Friends at Maple Farm and Mother Goose. Mother Goose has kind of been ongoing throughout the whole year. Then there sometimes is a practical or life, um, practical life or art skill. And then there's sometimes music or Spanish, which I shared before that we've kind of let the Spanish go. <laughs> I was having a hard time with that, but that's what the inside looks like. Okay, so we just learned about Daniel, right? Now we're gonna learn about a woman named Esther. One day the king picked a beautiful woman named Esther. Can you say Esther? Esther. To become the queen. But the king didn't know that Esther was a Jew, one of God's people. So Nehemiah didn't let anything stop him from finishing his good work. So we can't let anyone stop us from doing something that God wants us to do, right? If God tells us to do something, we must obey. Right? Even if people try to stop us, should we always obey? Let's pray and then we're going to do our letters. Father God, we thank you for stories like the one about brave Queen Esther. We thank you, Father, that we can be brave and trust you also, even when things are scary. What is this letter? Um, what does S say? What is this? J. What does J say? J. J. What's this? I. What does I say? 
Yeah. What's this? Oh. Uh. Good job. You guys have also asked what the big boys do while we're doing school. So right now they're doing their list of independent work. Jonas is over here doing math. Jude, what are you working on? Handwriting. So typically when I'm doing Abel's work is when I give them their independent work and they just have a list that they know they're supposed to work through. They have math, handwriting, spelling, and their independent reading. Hey, please don't do that. That they have to do while I am doing school table. Is that all of your independent work? Oh, and their devotionals. I have to do their devotionals. So that is what keeps them busy while I am working with this crazy guy. So now we're tracing our shape on the board. Right now we're working on the curricular triangle. Whoa, almost. It's really slippery, huh? Oh, stay against the line. So I thought I would show you guys. It's not just this schedule. You also turn the page and it tells you for each thing. So under family Bible time, here's the different days and the questions you could ask, the prayers you could say with them. We usually do our own prayer, but there's kind of a guide if you want that. Um, then for the sound of the week, it tells you what to do on each day. Sometimes we follow this, sometimes we don't. Today we are supposed to have our children write the D, saying the phonetic sound D, which we did do. I don't think we got that on camera, but we're doing that too. And then the geometric shapes, it tells you what to do each day. Again, we kind of do our own thing there. Sometimes you do it as they say, sometimes we don't. Um, then the number of the week, it tells you what to do each day as far as that number goes. Then the mother goose tells you what to read, gives you optional activities if you want to do that. And then here's your practical skills or life skills or art or whatever. Um, and then it continues on for your Spanish words and your music. And then you usually have a page just to practice that handwriting, yeah. which you do on the last day of the week. And then if there's any cutting for the week, your cutting page will be after that. And then the next week. Is this a penis? Okay. Getting Poor old Robinson Crusoe. Poor old Robinson Crusoe. Poor old Robinson Crusoe. They made him a coat of an old nanny goat. I wonder why they should do so. With a ring-a-ting tang and a ring-a-ting tang. Poor old Robinson Crusoe. See his coat? Yeah. A what? sieve. A riddle, a riddle, as I suppose. A hundred eyes and never a nose. Do you know what a sieve is? No. A sieve is like a strainer or a colander. So what we put pasta in to get the water off of it. It says a hundred eyes and never a nose. So it has lots of little dots for eyes, but there's no nose on it. Okay, a little bit of real life here. The baby's not having it, but we are almost done with preschool. So I just went and laid him down in a safe spot and he's gonna just cry for a second, which is totally okay with me. <laughs> While we read one last story, that's the last thing he has to do that requires me. Um, well, not entirely. He also has to do his life skill, which is cutting an orange, but we're gonna wait till lunchtime to do that. And then he has to listen to a music video, but I can put that on while I go grab the baby. So we're just going to read the story real quick. Um, right now he is with his brother playing magnet tiles at my feet and because one of his brothers finished up his schoolwork. So I will read to him while he plays magnet tiles and then I will get this screaming baby. The chickens are interesting. There are hens who lay eggs and there are roosters who have long tails and crow. All right, Abel is officially done with school. Got the baby quiet. He's gonna play Legos in this disaster of a room. <sighs> Anyone else, boy moms, is this normal? So Jude is still finishing up his independent work. I'm going to work with Jonas on his one-on-one -on -one subjects. So that would be his language arts and then finishing up his math. Um, and then I will switch and work with Jude and then 
it'll probably be lunchtime and then we will do sunlight after lunch. Um, and then our science we usually do during lunch because it's mostly listening to an audio um, reading of their lesson. And then if there's any sort of um, work, then we'll do it after lunch. But that pretty much wraps up Abel's day. That took about an hour and a half, but that was with a lot of interruptions. I had a major diaper change. I had a crying baby. I had a nursing baby. Um, I had to help the big boys on a couple of things. Um, so sunlight typically does not take an hour and a half, but if you have a lot of interruptions like me, then it might. Um, he also has some other things that I'll show you that he does on some days, some days he doesn't. Since today I had a harder time with the baby then we're just going to call that good for Abel for today. Um, but I'll show you what he does on days when things cooperate a little better. Um, I'll show you some things that he does. So here is his handwriting that he does about three days a week. He was going to do it today, but like I said, we're just going to skip it today. Um, so this is just some tracing. Focus. Just some tracing and coloring. And he is, um, it eventually gets to some letters and stuff. And then he does these books. I have to design this my preschool song. Oh yeah, we need to do your song still. See, he reminds me of these things. Um, so I, he does these about three days a week too. These are from CLE. This is, I think, the third one. So this is an activity book for four-year-olds. Um, oh wait, this is the one he already did. Never mind, this is his old one. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong one, but... Um, he has four of these and he's on the third one right now. And so he does those about three days a week also. Yeah. Okay. And then about mm, three days a week ish, sometimes four, he does alphabet adventures, which looks like this. So I print off the student pages, but then the teacher mm -hmm. pages that have like the schedule and stuff, I just read from my iPad. Um, and then we can click the links too that way. So I'll go in depth in that maybe in a later video, but that's kind of just what that looks like. So you can see our preschool days vary. Um, I try not to make them go over like an hour, hour and a half, including interruptions, um, just because I have other things I need to do also. And so if we're just interrupted a lot, I just take that as a day that, you know, a ton of preschool isn't gonna get done. But then there's other days when that hour and a half is like a lot of stuff. It can be all four of the things I showed you, the sunlight, the alphabet adventures, and, the handwriting and the CLE books. Um, but that's kind of what a typical day, um, somewhere in between those two spectrums would look like. Um, I will show you later when he does some of his other stuff that we didn't get to, um, his orange cutting and his, um, song, but, um, we try to keep it at about an hour and a half and whatever gets done that hour and a half is what he gets done. Okay, so while Abel was playing after he did his song, um, he <laughs> played magnetiles with whatever brother wasn't working with me. And then whatever brother was working with me, obviously was getting his work done. <laughs> and then after that, we had lunch and they did their science over lunch. And then Abel just kind of listens in on that. He doesn't, he's not expected to actually participate, but he usually catches something because, especially this year, because we're doing um, land animals. Um, and then this little guy woke up, say hello. This little guy woke up and then now it is time for Abel's rest time. So he doesn't always have to nap, but he does have to lay down. Even if he has some toys in his bed, I don't care. Just take some quiet time. And he usually does end up falling asleep. Um, but that's really kind of the end of his quote unquote school day. So today he brought in his Paw Patrol fire truck. Is that Marshall's truck? Yeah. And he also has Emperor Zerg in here and all his stuffed animals. So, <laughs> and a book. He has a book. So he'll lay here for a little while at least, and then we'll get up and get ready for church, right? I have a toy on this beer. What is it? What? It's your ATV guy. 
So he'll lay here for a little while, and then when he gets up, it'll be time to play for a few more minutes, eat dinner, and go to church. Can you tell everybody bye? Bye! Psycho. Mm. <laughs> Can you tell everybody bye nicely? Bye. For the rest of us, it will be finishing up sunlight, baking some bread, doing some chores, and then getting ready for church. So on Wednesdays, I don't cook dinner for my husband and I. We eat at our community group. We bring snacks. And everybody just kind of shares. I'm going to bake some bread and take there. And then these guys, I'll just make kind of an easy dinner for them um, after our chores. So that's pretty much the end of our day. Good job. I know this is kind of tough. We didn't have any regular oranges. We only had clementines, which we might try next if this doesn't work. <laughs> and we had grapefruit. So it's a little tougher, isn't it? Yeah. You got it. Use your muscles. See how God already broke it up into pieces for you to eat? I eat it. <laughs> eat it. Oh, I'm gonna take off this stuff right here. So we forgot to do all of that cutting up and everything before um, nap time, but we'll just eat this as a snack now for the afternoon. And then Abel will just have to do some chores. What are your chores? <laughs> What's your chores today? <laughs> Clean up. Hey, don't talk like that. Clean up your room and then what? Um, clean the sides of my bathtubs. Clean all the sides of the bathtubs. So he cleans the outsides of the bathtubs today. And then after he gets all that done, then we will get a little bit of playtime, maybe a little bit of TV time, and then we will get ready for church. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below um, what you're using for preschool or kind of what your preschooler's day looks like if it looks similar to Abel's. Maybe now we're starting school? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna push the button. Ah! Nothing happened. I just restarted. There. Okay, hold on just a second. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.